Today, I will show you how to remove APT repositories in Linux using two easy methods. So stay tuned as I walk you through the steps. The first method involves the command line interface to remove APT repositories. It's straightforward and efficient. I will guide you through two different approaches for this. The first approach in the command line is using the apt add repository command. For this, open the Ubuntu terminal and type in this command. You will see a list of current repositories on your system. From the list, let's choose the Ubuntu Wiley GetDeb Games repository to demonstrate the removal process. First, let's clear the terminal. Now, to remove it, execute this command. sudo apt add repository remove option deb followed by the repository URL. Press enter to continue. Once the removal is done, Let's update the Linux system. Finally, if you run this command, you will notice that the system does not contain the Ubuntu Wiley Get Deb Games repository anymore. That means that the selected repository has been successfully removed. In the second approach, I will show you how to remove a repository from the source apt directory itself. At first, run this command to see the list of current repositories. Next, execute this command to open the source list file. Once you have accessed it, choose the repository that you want to remove. In my case, it is the one labeled as Ubuntu Wiley Get Deb Games. Now with backspace button on my keyboard, I will erase this line. After that, press Ctrl S to save the file and press Ctrl X to exit it. Now to see the repository list once again, execute the commands. Here you will not find the Ubuntu Wiley repository anymore. Now, if you prefer a graphical approach, I've got you covered. At first, go to Applications and type here Software. Go to the Software and Update app. After that, navigate to Other Software tab. Now, choose the repository you want to remove. In this case, I am selecting Ubuntu Wiley Get Deb Games. Then click on the Remove button and enter the password to authenticate. After that, press the Close button. At this point, click on Reload to update the repository information. Press Enter. And that's it. You have successfully removed the repository using a graphical interface. And that marks the end of this video. If you find any problem during the repository configuration, you can find the solution in the article given in the description. To conclude, removing repositories will keep your system tidy and give you a smoother update process.